Hello fellow YouTubers. I am here in the body of Christ America and I'm gonna read the Bible. <clears throat> I'm gonna start from Genesis and continue on in this journey. I don't know where it's gonna take me or you, but I'm gonna finish from beginning to end. And uh, I felt that this was Something I've been wanting to do for a while, and now here I am, starting on this journey, seeing where it takes me. And I believe this. I've read it quite a few times from beginning to end. So now I want to take this journey to the people who might want to watch this video in the future. I'd like to maybe someday open up a church and wait till God gives me this opportunity but until that happens I'm going to start with Genesis beginning to end Genesis written by Moses the history of creation in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth the earth was without form and void the darkness was on the face of the deep and the spirit of god was hovering over the face of the waters now this is going to be the new king james version i kind of like uh, the niv personally but i'm just reading out of this bible here that i have then god said let there be light and there was light god saw the light that it was good and god divided the light from the darkness God called, God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. <clears throat> then God said, Let there be a ferment. A ferment. Okay. Among, in the midst of the waters, let it divide the water. The waters from the waters thus God made the ferment ferment and divided the waters which were under the ferment ferment firmament I don't know why I'm having such a problem anyways from the waters which were above the ferment and it was so firmament and God called this for uh, why does this word have to be so difficult for me fair firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day then God said let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear and it was so and God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters he called the seas and god saw that it was good then god said let the earth bring forth grass the herbs that yield seed and the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind whose seed in itself on the earth and it was so and the earth brought forth grass the herb that yields seed according to its kind and the tree that yields fruit, whose seed is in itself according to its kind. <clears throat> God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were the third day. Then God said, let there be lights in the firmament of heavens to divide the day from night. And let them be for the signs and the season." For the days and the years and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light to the earth and it was so then god made two great lights the greater light to the rule to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night he made the stars also god set them in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth and to rule over the day and over the night 
and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. So evening and the morning were the fourth day. Then God said, let the waters abound with abundance of living creatures and let the birds fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens. This word firmament, I'm going to look it up. So God created the great sea creatures and every living thing that moves with which the waters abounded according to their kind and every winged bird according to its kind and God saw that it was good and God blessed them saying be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters and the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth so the evening and the morning were the fifth day <clears throat> then God said let the earth bring forth the living creatures according to its kind cattle and creeping things and beasts beast of all the earth each according to its kind and it was so and god made the beast of the earth according to its kind cattle according to its kind and everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind and god saw that it was good then god said let us make man in our image according to our likeness let them have domi dominion over the fish in the sea over the birds in the air and over the cattle over all the earth and over all creeping things that creeps on the earth so god created man in his own image in the image of god he created him male and female he created them then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds in the air, and over every living thing that moves on earth. And God said, See, I have given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of the earth every tree whose fruit yields seed to you it shall be for food also every beast of the earth to every bird in the of the air and to everything that creeps on the earth in which there is life i have given every green herb for food and it was so then god saw everything that he had made and indeed it was very good. So evening and morning were the sixth day. So that time, God said everything was good. But the last time when he created man, he said that it was very good. So he waited till man was created on the sixth day. So if this is God's truth, which I believe it is, I don't know about some of you, but um, this scripture has been written down over the ages and now has given us a chance to learn how the world was created to begin with. It has nothing about evolution here, but, you know, as we go on through the text, which is the word of God, we will see what happens. Thank you for watching. If anyone watches this, this will be mine and your journey to uh, finish from Genesis to Revelation. Um, I appreciate your time. Thank you.